All right, welcome to the second video about um, some, some sketches for a user interface for block and layouts uh, for Drupal 8 or something like that. Uh, I'm jumping right into uh, the stuff, the, the sketches I made. Uh, I think a reasonable starting point, well, some, somewhere on the site you need some kind of list of uh, A, all the blocks, the customized blocks you have on the site so you can edit and change them, and also a list of pages and paths on the site because uh, you probably want to be able to to create new paths like this like a front page and then have a block that lists well that contains all the content you want to show on the front page uh, uh, so yeah that that's uh, uh, something you'll need uh, at some point on your Drupal site uh, if you want to work with blocks and layouts uh, I'm going to show you three sketches uh, for, for managing uh, these kinds of things uh, and then in the next video I'm going to show you actual uh, block management and stuff. So here's um, a list of all the paths you have on the site and it's right right now restricted to only custom made, custom made pages and that can make sense because even if you do want to be able to change like every system page and every page at all on, on your Drupal site you don't want to see all these pages at the same time because that will make a huge list and you won't really be able to find what you're looking for. Uh, so deselect this and you get a lot more uh, things. Uh, I, I guess it will be useful to have uh, tags to, to filter the pages that you have and it uh, might also be uh, useful to have drag and drop or something to reorder pages. Uh, like here we have uh, two uh, paths uh, both uh, going to node slash present node. One being used when uh, the node type is article, one being used when the node type is blog post. And uh, you could add more conditions here and then at some point it becomes important for Drupal to know which one to pick first if uh, more than one of these pages would, would uh, match. Uh, and then you might need to drag and drop to reorder. That's kind of it. Uh, of course, you uh, will, will probably want to be able to click the paths here or the conditions or the content uh, to go directly into editing that uh, that part of the setup, and that's that's kind of useful. I'm not really sure uh, this uh, clicking on on content here if you want to edit the uh, block being used or if you want to be able to change which block is being used. Um, but that's uh, a future matter. All right, um, you can add uh, new pages and then a block to it. I've also added a link here, uh, add a block without any path to it. Uh, that should probably not be on this page, um, but yeah. Uh, if you add a new page and a block, then you uh, have a two-step process, sometimes a one-step process, but a two-step process uh, is probably most of the cases. Um, Number one, most importantly, add the path for the page. And in this case, I added here a dynamic part of the path, a percent node that can be changed for, well, it's a placeholder for something in the path. Uh, you can also add extra settings here for uh, access condition and vi visible menu items. I guess you might want to have something else here as well, I'm not sure. It's pretty similar to page manager, uh, but not uh, identical. Uh, if you enter this and hit uh, continue, uh, the page is actually created and saved, so then it's stored and you can quit and, and come back later on if you want to. Uh, on the next um, uh, part here, if you have an extra settings, uh, you're asked to do them. In this case, we have a dynamic part of the path, the percent node thing here. Uh, uh, you have to, well, you should uh, set what kind of data it represents. In this case, I'm using small icons here, one icon for each type of data, and these will uh, return later on in, in, in the sketches I made. I think these are kind of useful and kind of important uh, to understand what, you, well, to get an overview of, of data you're working with. Um, yeah, if you check these, use access conditions or provide visible menu item, uh, you get some extra settings that you can uh, add here. And these are automatically checked if you are you checked these before. Maybe this should be removed altogether to keep this page at minimum. Never mind. Um, and that's it. When you've done this, uh, hit uh, page, uh, save the page and, and add content. The page is saved 
and you are well a new page well a new block is created and you go into the block editor if you here just create a new block and no path you go here uh, directly without creating any page for it and that will be the issue of the next video see you there